Hi there Intune friends, in this video we continue to manage our Mac OS in Intune. So in this video we're going to package Google Chrome and also put it into our browser cloud management tool that we have another video about. So let's start to package Google Chrome and deploy that to one Mac OS device. So I'm in intune.microsoft.com, logged in. I go to apps this time, usually we go devices, right? And we can click on Mac OS. So we have already in previous video package uh, these four apps. Uh, we have corrected the, the Zoom desktop client detection script, but let's add, uh, actually first let's download uh, Google Chrome. So you have PKG and uh, DMG. We're gonna do a PKG. So we do download, Google Chrome, let's put enterprise for uh, Mac OS. Now I put, wrote that wrong, but that should be fine. Download for browser, uh, download Google Chrome browser for your enterprise. That looks good. Uh, let's uh, check Mac here. Let's go with a stable. Uh, we have DMG, let's go with PKG. So fairly big, nearly 200 megabytes. Uh, this is the version uh, 114, that's the latest of today. So probably when you look this video, it's not gonna be the latest. Uh, yes, let's allow to download. Okay, so we have it in our downloads folder. I'm just gonna verify that in Finder. Yep, we got uh, Google Chrome.pkg. So let's go back into the Intune console. Let's do add and select type. We didn't download the DMG, so we will go with line of business app. So we click there and we verify that Mac OS PKG is supported. Perfect, that's what we got. We select next. Now select app package file. So I had mine in the download folder. So if I go to the downloads, here we got Google Chrome.pkg. Let's upload this one. Well, it's not gonna upload right now. Click OK. And let's fill in the name. Let's put uh, Google Chrome and the description. We can put the uh, GBN uh, uh, Google Chrome secondary browser. We say Edge is the primary or Safari. It's gonna be Google is the publisher minimum operating system so 1014 mojave is supported but i will not accept anything older than monterey so here we have a few we can ignore app version that has to do with detection uh, for to automate bundles so i'm gonna let's keep that ignore but i'm gonna change this to manage so it's gonna show up as managed app and it needs a newer os so here it's gonna see uh, uh, it's going to read a file who is actually, if we go under application and then right click on Google Chrome app once it's installed and extract the folder or look into the folder, you're going to see there's a content folder and in there it's going to be info plist file and there they're going to look for this version. If those exist there, then it will consider a success. So let's see if we put category. Uh, always fun since I have the default one. Let's go with other app for once. I will not feature this in the company portal because I'm gonna push it to machines, not even gonna be in the company portal. Let's put some notes. I put it me who package it. And today's date, we are the 12th. June 2023. We need an image also. Let's download one. I have nearly prepared one here. So I just Googled on, uh, well, let me go back and show that. I Google on Google Chrome icon PNG transparent. So you can find pretty funny pages for that, but this one seems to have one. I just want the, <clears throat> the logo. It's going to download soon. We have time to load all these banners. We will allow it. And hopefully that's a good one. We'll see. So I go back to the uh, Intune portal. I click select image and we know it's going to be in the download folder. No good name, but that doesn't really matter. It looks pretty good. So let's upload that. Yeah, 
that looks fine and that's mostly important if we put in the company portal which i'm not planning to do anyway next assignment so to put in company portal you put available but i want this required so let's i want all my mac devices to have that so i'm gonna put that group who show all uh, i don't filter um and this one i haven't seen before Let's see if i can be bigger not that big maybe just a little bigger uninstall on device yes oh let's click here well if we remove that's fine so include i don't do any changes so all good here we go next so now we are deploying this app so now it's actually doing the upload Okay, it's uploaded, ready to go. So here we have our Google Chrome and the version. It says not assigned, but if I do a little refresh, I'm sure it's gonna change. Yes, there it is. So it is assigned. And we're just gonna have to wait a bit for it to install. Let's uh, wait for that. I post the video meanwhile. Okay, that went a lot faster than I thought. It's already installed. So if I start it, it's going to be a vanilla start. It's not going to have any of our policies or anything. It's going to be normal. So if we do uh, Chrome and then check uh, policy, this one doesn't have any enrollment token. And that's what the second part of this video is going to be. We're going to enroll this one to our tool, which we have done to uh, Linux and uh, Windows machines. So that's going to be, uh, there is a documentation to enroll browser with Microsoft Intune from uh, Google. A really nice document. So if we check here, first, uh, we need to get our enrollment token. So if you have followed along my previous video and set this up, you can just go to admin.google.com then go to your devices chrome manage browsers and here we have a few of my browsers already in let's say that this mac user is a normal technology is that one empty it is perfect then uh, we want to enroll so we click here and we're going to get the token so uh, we can download this one, sure, allow. So we're gonna download the, the Mac one, but we can steal this one too. So if we go back to uh, the description, so now we have the enrollment token. Now we need to create the plist template. So you can download one here and use. Uh, I've done that, doesn't work for me. I get this error explained here. Intune couldn't validate the plist. It's gonna be a plist. And I got exactly this error. The fix is to not use their template, but create our own. So let's create our own here. So I'm gonna copy this one as well. And I'm just gonna open up a simple uh, text edit. And let's create a new document. And I'm gonna paste this one here, but we want our token, not uh, their token. Uh, well, this uh, XX here, which is not gonna work anyway. So if we go back here to manage browser, I'm just going to copy this token. So this token here makes this one to enroll under technology. We had in a previous video not related to Mac at all. We enrolled to uh, sales. I think we did the technology validation also. But this uh, Mac go to the normal technology. So if I go to my text edit here and I have copied uh, the unique token, that's unique just for this tenant and there's no authentication so anyone can uh, add this and join to mine if they want uh, format let's change this to make plain text so it looks like this now we're gonna save it as a plist so I'm gonna save I'm gonna go up one on the desktop and let's call this one um, 
Google Chrome uh, technology and PLIST, maybe enrollment. Enrollment, something like that. It doesn't matter the name. Save. So now we have a PLIST. So if we go back to the, all the steps, so now we have a PLIST. Now we have to do the rest from. Uh, the rest from Microsoft Intune. So we're going to create a configuration profile. A profile. It's going to be for macOS, of course. It's going to be a template and it's going to be a preference file since it's a plist. And we're going to deploy that plist to the device. And then, do I still have it? Then it's going to use that token and register in our console. So let, let's do that. So I'll go back to Intune. So then we go Devices. Then we go Mac OS and Configuration Profiles. And we, if you have followed along this uh, video series, we have already created uh, two uh, uh, Configuration Profiles previously. Let's create a new one, Create Profile, Mac OS, and we said it should be the uh, Templates. And it's gonna be a Preference file. So let's create one there. Since I prefixed them with GBN, let's do that. This is going to be Google Chrome Technology Enrollment. This plist contains the token, token to enroll into uh, Chrome Cloud Management. Oh, looks like I did a mistake there. No, just a uh, L too much. Chrome Cloud Management uh, under up. Let's go back under the technology technology OU. Something like that. Let's go next. Here, this one is important. I think it is Chrome dot uh, com dot Google dot Chrome will just verify because that's been told here. So preference name com.google chrome. So it's uh, backwards. It's uh, they use the DNS uh, naming standard. That looks good. We just need to browse our property list. And I think I said we said had it there. If I remember, this one is doesn't like um, an extra space so this looks perfect so normally it should be more data around this but uh, Microsoft take care of that so we are good we just say cloud management enrollment token and what it is so let's go next now we're going to assign it here normally should not assign to all but since I don't have a group for technology, for now all my Macs gonna go there. This targeting should be, of course, only for those macOS devices who are in the technology. But I haven't created one group for that, so I target all. Create, and now we have our new policy. So that one is being created. We'll see if that one have applied already. Nope, we can, I don't know if that helps. That's gonna be the uh, push certificate and all we created before, but we can do a check status and see if that uh, makes the policy come in. And that should actually be one policy extract coming up here. No, it's not because it's a P list. Uh, well, refresh there won't help, right? It's already there. There's another way we can look, since I'm deploying to the same machine as I manage here. We can go Finder, Go, go to Folder, Library. And here it should be a folder called Managed. Or maybe be created when uh, we... Manage Preferences here, yep. Uh, yep. I think this is ours. If you hit space bar on the Mac, you get a little uh, preview of this. This is our friend, so it, it has applied. 
I don't know if uh, this one is aware that it's been because it uh, that it's been applied because it can take a little time. No, this one don't know about it, but it's gonna catch up. So we got it. So this means you see here I'm not managed, but if I close Google Chrome and open it again, it's gonna take a little longer time, and it's you're gonna see it spinning while registering. Let's see here. Ah, now it's working. So now it have a register. So if we go to Chrome policy, oh yeah, when we added to technology, we were also adding uh, um, extensions. So now we have all the settings that we're getting from uh, uh, Chrome Cloud Browser Management Tool. That means if we go back to Safari and look in managed browsers here on the technology, it should now show up a uh, device. So let's reload. Yes, here is our uh, Mac who have enrolled and it showed the version. You can get some more information when it was enrolled today. How many policies? I haven't seen the extension yet, the last pass that's going to show up after a time. So in this video, we successfully uh, did two things. We packaged uh, Google, let's see, uh, Google Chrome. If we go apps and Mac OS, we package uh, Google Chrome. We successfully deployed that as a PKG. Then we created a config profile here under Mac OS, under configuration profiles called Google Chrome Technology Enrollment. We sent the P list that arrived under library managed preferences that made uh, Google Chrome be managed and register itself. So excellent. In the next video, we're going to look out to run scripts, bash scripts in uh, Mac OS. Until then, have a great day. Thank you very much.